Before Muammar Gaddafi was assassinated in 2011, reports revealed that he planned to launch a new Libyan currency that would be backed by 143 tons of gold. If it were successful, this currency would be capable of challenging the dominance of the U.S. dollar and also granting monetary independence to African countries, especially those who use the CFA franc. Unfortunately, it was for this reason he was assassinated by NATO, and that plan was dashed. However, Zimbabwe, a country in South Africa that has been under U.S. sanctions for the past 20 years until it was recently lifted partially, made history on April 5, 2024 as the first country in the world to reintroduce a new currency backed by gold known as the Zimbabwe Gold. Recall that after the Great Depression of 1930, the gold standard, a monetary system where the currency of a country is backed by gold, was abandoned. So with the introduction of the Zimbabwe Gold, Zimbabwe has become the first country in the world to do this. The question is why? Why did Zimbabwe decide to make this move? What does the government hope to achieve in the country? Let's find out in this video. On April 5, 2024, the Central Bank of Zimbabwe announced that it is launching a new structured currency backed by gold, which will help to tackle sky-high inflation and stabilize the country's long-floundering economy. Speaking to a group of reporters in the capital, Harare, the governor of the country's central bank, John Musheavanhu, revealed that the new currency called Zim Gold will be backed by foreign currencies, gold, and precious minerals, and will replace the old currency, the Zimbabwean dollar, which has fallen drastically in value over the, the past year and leading to high inflation rate. With effect from today, banks shall convert the current Zimbabwe dollar balances into the new currency, he said. The governor also announced a drastic cut in the bank's main interest rate from 130% to 20%. The move is aimed at fostering simplicity, certainty, and predictability in Zimbabwe's financial affairs, he added, as he presented the new banknotes that come in eight denominations ranging from 1 to 200 ziji. Mushayavanhu went further to add that Zimbabweans had 21 days to convert their old cash into the new money, which features a drawing of gold ingots being minted, as well as Zimbabwe's famous balancing rocks. So, the new currency will be backed by gold and other precious metals. But, how much gold does the country have? According to the official data, Zimbabwe boasts vast gold deposits, which account for almost 25% of all exports in January 2024. But aside from its gold deposits, the governor of the country's central bank revealed that the central bank's vault currently holds 1.1 tons of solid gold, 1.5 tons of gold held abroad, $100 million in cash, and precious minerals such as diamonds that, if converted into gold, would account for another 0.4 tons. And, altogether, the reserve's value totals $285 million, which the governor says is more than three times the cover for the ZIG currency being issued. The governor also added that the bank will adopt a tight monetary policy, linking money supply growth to growth in gold and foreign exchange reserves. This is a great move from the Zimbabwe monetary sector because the Zimbabwe dollar, the currency in use since 2019, has lost almost 100% of its value against the U.S. dollar over the past year. On April 5, 2024, the Zimbabwe dollar was officially trading at about 30,000 against the dollar and at 40,000 on the black market. This means that one dollar was equal to 30,000 Zimbabwean dollars. Imagine that. This poor performance of the Zimbabwe dollar contributes to the reason why the inflation rate in the country is sky high. As of March 2024, the inflation rate was a whopping 55% which has put tremendous pressure on the 16 million people living in the country, contending with widespread poverty, high unemployment, and a severe drought induced by the El Nino weather pattern. It's this situation that pushed the Central Bank of Zimbabwe to launch the new currency backed by gold, which, according to the governor, will have an impact on inflation. This new currency, however, will be the sixth currency that has been launched in the country in the last 16 years, it's a well-known fact that Zimbabwe has been grappling with currency crises over the past 24 years, which have led to severe hyperinflation in the economy. The causes of hyperinflation can be traced back to the administration of the former president of the country, 
Robert Mugabe. At first, the Zimbabwean economy was fairly stable. However, in the early 1990s, Robert Mugabe instituted a series of economic reforms that proved disastrous. First, the government seized land from white farm owners and gave it to black farmers. This action was an attempt to right the wrongs suffered by black Zimbabweans during the colonial period when fertile land owned by the blacks for agriculture was seized and given to the whites. Although it was a good idea and has improved the social and economic standing of many people in the country, it has been argued that the reform was poorly carried out, which led to a sharp decline in food production and, by extension, an increase in the price of food. While food production decreased and the price of food increased, the banking sector collapsed due to economic sanctions imposed by the U.S., the European Union, and the IMF. These sanctions led to the bank's inability to mobilize funds for investments and loans. The banks were also unwilling to release loans due to political and monetary uncertainty, which increased the risk of loans. All this led to a decline in capital development and economic output, while unemployment increased to 80%. In addition to this, the Zimbabwean government issued massive amounts of new currency to fund military action in the Democratic Republic of the Congo and to import enough food to prevent widespread hunger. This gamble to increase food imports proved to be another driver for hyperinflation, as Zimbabwe found itself in deeper debt, denominated in foreign currencies. And, on top of that, the Mugabe regime made no move to reduce other sources of government spending, meaning that there was so much money in circulation. And, according to economic theory, when there is so much money in circulation, it leads to a rapid increase in price, which is exactly what happened. Now guess what the Mugabe regime did in an attempt to correct the increase in price and falling value of their currency? The Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe simply continued to print more money, leading to more money in circulation. Then they declared inflation illegal, which doesn't even make any sense, and redominated its currency from 5, 10, and 15 Zimbabwe dollar bills to 100 million and 200 million dollar bills. This redomination went so far that 100 trillion Zimbabwe dollar notes were injected into circulation, which were worth only 33 US dollars. Imagine that. For the bank to issue 100 trillion Zimbabwe dollar bills, it essentially means that the currency is worthless. And it forced people to barter goods or use foreign currencies, such as the US dollar, for transactions. As a result, the black market in Zimbabwe for foreign currencies became a common method for obtaining basic goods and services at a relatively consistent value, despite the illegal use of foreign currency. All these actions led to a further increase in inflation and reduced citizens' confidence in the stability of the currency. Inflation in Zimbabwe hit several all-time highs in 2008, and it was then that the government began to institute several reforms. First, the government adopted foreign currencies, including the US dollar and the euro, as its official currencies, which allowed them to stabilize prices and exchange rates and rebuild confidence in the value of the currency. Secondly, the government stopped printing Zimbabwean dollars and allowed people to use the foreign currency of their choice, mostly US dollars, in 2009. These actions helped to reduce the inflation rate consistently for many years until it hit 4.3% in July 2018. In 2015, the Mugabe administration announced that Zimbabwe would no longer have a national currency. Instead, it would continue to use the US dollar for exchange. However, after Mugabe resigned in 2017, after a 37-year-long rule, the new administration of President Emerson introduced a new currency in 2019, the Zimbabwe dollar. However, this proved to be disastrous because it led to a resurgence of hyperinflation, leading to new all-time highs in the inflation rate. This is why the government had to launch this new currency backed by gold. According to a Zimbabwean economist, the supply of the currency is going to be moving in line with the available reserves in the economy. However, some analysts are still skeptical about the new currency, saying that relying on backing a currency on an underlying asset alone which the government is placing emphasis on, is not enough. According to Gift Mogano, backing is an important thing, but you need to go beyond that, where the government uses the currency. 
If the government doesn't do that, create demand for Zig, then Zig will not survive. Currently, the public is being urged to have faith in the currency and believe that it will succeed. What are your thoughts? Do you think the currency will succeed? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video.